Ah! Ah! Ah, hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm Jay, and this is another video. This one is different to all my other ones. I normally fly and, and stuff, um, or make the travel vlog things. Today, uh, I got some, some new gear in, and I thought, hey, I should, I should video this and make something for YouTube. I thought that after I'd already put the motors on. It's pretty easy to put the motors on. But yeah, so this video is gonna be pretty much how to build a Freestyle Mini Quad uh, that carries like a, a GoPro um, and does all the flips and flops and flap, nope. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll run down the specs. Here you go. Alright, so we'll start with the frame. I'm using the Impulse RC Alien, but one thing that I've changed is it's that it's going to be the slammed Alien. Uh, motors are the drib ones. Let's get some fancy shots. Drib. Or ESCs, the Speedix GS40 4 in 1. So for the flight controller, there it is. Uh, it's by Pyro. Pyro Drone, I'm pretty sure. I think, I, I can't like, I think that's how you focus it. There we go. You can't see me! And then the camera, so I'm using the Foxy uh, Falcor Micro. It's a 1200 TV line camera, and I took this out of one of my racing ones because it's got a little bit of a higher latency, like 30 milliseconds or something stupid. Um, so that's going to go in the Freestyle Quad, and then I've got a Predator. V3 that's going to go in the racing quad VTX setup. So I've got the TDS Unify Pro V3 5 volt one, um, and then I've got the OG that Spyro net, bruh. It was on sale at Next FPV, 10 bucks. 10 bucks for an antenna. I'm like, yes, and it came with two. The receiver, uh, it's the um, Nano Crossfire. Whoop, whoop. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, let's, let's get started with tinning the ESCs. <laughs> yeah! Um, I need music. Rufus. Rufus, let's go Rufus, we've got to go Rufus. Let's get to it. Oh, this one, this one comes with gummies as well. The first thing that I make sure I've got, I've got a clean tip on the soldering iron. Um, just drop a bit of solder on it and then pop it in. And I use this little dude, like the metal thing, instead of the wet foam, because the, the water actually um, electrically shocks the soldering iron. So if you use that, the, the whole scratching thing doesn't really matter. Um, and then for soldering, pretty much just heat up the pad for a little bit. It's good to be quick. Um, so heat it up a little bit and then apply solder to the pad, not the iron, because obviously it's gonna melt on the iron, but if you put it on the pad, then you'll know if it's hot enough. So, watch me cock up the first one. Ready? Bit onto the iron, heats the pad up, and then flow to the pad. Boom. I won't show you all these, but here's a, here's a little close-up one. So, bit of solder on the tip, gets that hot, onto the pad, apply it to the pad, and boom. Yes, he doesn't cock it up. Well, there's still a fair few more for me to cock up, so I'll get I'll get those finished. And oh yeah, and for this, I've got the soldering iron up as high as it goes. I think it's I think it's like 400 degrees Celsius, which is like 12 million degrees Fahrenheit. Um, boom, baby! I got the soldering iron out. I'll just tin up the flight controller. Uh, for the flight controller, you can probably turn down the heat a little bit. What, 400 or so, you can probably drop it to 300 or, or so, and that will just, I don't know, that'll just make it a little bit safer because it is smaller joints and um, you don't actually need as much heat to heat these up as you would on the, yeah, the big ASC stuff. Camera S, which is signal. So the Pyrodrone ESC has got a diagram on their website. You can just check on that what you need. It's a good little thing though, it's like 50 bucks or something. It does a job. Five volt, and that's all we need. This closer row to us, um, that's perfect for crossfire. Wait, no. Yeah, the crossfire like receiver. One below that is the VTX. 
um, set up with the TX and whatnot. So it works out perfectly. So I'll just solder those suckers up and we'll be laughing. This is going too easy. You could use any ground, but that's fine. And then TX. And that's so we get, uh, I think it's called Smart Audio. Oh, right. Okay, so now I'm going to get it on to the frame. We might as well start getting that set up. Okay, so that stuck is in there. It's got like this banging shield over the top of it. Aluminum. Jokes. Aluminium. What the hell, America? Now I'm going to resort to the Venn diagram. It's not a Venn diagram. Okay, good. Here. Yes, yeah, sweet. So they've showed us. They've got the layout as to what all the pins are. The flight controller's got how many? One, two, three, not. The flight controller's got 10 outputs or inputs. Puts. The flight con the ESC's got 10 puts. Flight controller's got eight puts. So we've got a little uh, harness and it's the pink wire that we don't need, which is um, ESC telemetry. So on the back side of the little plastic thing, there's some small tabs. And you grab the biggest knife you have. No, you don't. So you can lift those little dudes up. So that's the one I don't need. Lift it up. Pull on the wire. Boom. Comes out. Easy as that. Golly gosh, aren't we making crack cracking progress? What I've decided to do is I'm actually just de-pinning um, the whole ESC side of the, the little pin. Because um, then that means I have free roam of where something should be and where something shouldn't be. And it all kind of starts from scratch. So it'll be easy to make sure it's the right one. And this is where we'll cut to me when it blows up because I've just stuffed it up big time. Refer back to the diagram, plug it in, I'll show the finished product. Yo, progress has been biblical so far. Um, so much so that the album has gone back to the start. So let's pick a new one. Anderson Pack. We love it, baby. ESC has been has been all wired up as it needs to be, which is pretty cool. I've got some gummies for it as well. This is like just an episode of gummies. Bow, wow, 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 wow. Boom, nuggets. Oh. First, I'm gonna solder the motor wires to the ESC. Let's do that, soldering iron, crank that sucker up. We'll wrap it around there, bring it to the side, and then you should be able to trim it to the right spot right length and then get the second one to come around the back side of it and the third one around the back side of it as well. Soldering on directly and then changing the direction in beta flight is the easiest way to do it. Cut it at the edge and then the rest can come off. Yeah, it heats up quickly, that's easy as. Uh, heat up the ESC first just so it kind of gets it flowing. Bring the motor wire over, get it down there and off. Seems to be the go. Oh, we're back to the start of another album. Woo, baby, there are three good ones. Where boy! Done. What did I just say? Pretty good. That one. Those ones. Uh, next. I'll make the battery lead. There we go, that one's on. That'll come up there. Battery in Bob Trunkle. You. Uh, for the standoffs, actually, that's a cap head and that's a button head. I'll use the cap heads because when I'm like just destroying things, um, they'll hold up better in crashes. Button heads will get uh, like stripped out easier than the cap heads. So, little pro tip from your boy: put cap heads on the bottom. Yo, what up? It's the next day. Last night I finished off the configuring side, so like the flight controller flashing it and flashing the ESC and, and doing all that stuff. So I'm just gonna tidy up the rest of it now and we should be good. Well, actually I know we're good, but I'm just, you know, making it perfect. So step one today is extending these wires. They're really short and I kind of want to have a little bit more slack with the VTX when it's mounted on the quad because I want to have the VTX up the front here. There we go. So I've just made a little bit of an extension there so I'll have some room to play with. Makes life a lot easier when it's actually getting put together. So you're beauty. Instead of mounting the VTX on the top, I'm going to solder it to the bottom of the board. That's another good thing with this. The pins are on the bottom as well. Then I'll be able to run the wires for it underneath uh, and keep the top of it as free as possible because that's where I'm going to be putting the battery straps. So, TX, 
ground than the VTX here. And I'm using the fire, the same fire bolt that I'm powering the receiver with. These little edges up, boom. Easy. There we go, receiver I've got just taped down in the back. The antennas will go in these little tubes along the arms. And that's probably not the best spot to have the antennas, but I hate how they stick out the back. The video transmitter, I'm gonna tuck in there. Coax cable will go over the top of the flight controller. SMA goes on the back there. I'll cover that up with some heat shrink. And there's not much antenna hanging out the back, so. Cracking progress, ladies and gentlemen. I've got the VTX gets power, it lights up, bling bling, mother, I'm not gonna say it. So I'm just gonna tidy it up. Mm. Boom. Oh, battery straps. I got it. That ethics strappage. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've done it. <laughs> it took, I think it was about five albums, change of clothes, good night's sleep, and I've done it. I've built a FPV freestyle drone ready to rip. I'm very happy. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it somewhat useful. And uh, yeah. I'll post a flight video of it as a separate video because if I put a flight video at the end of an already 20 minute long video, no one's gonna actually watch it. So look out for that and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, hurrah. Ha <laughs> ha!